things that you you learn and pick up, you know. Take a picture. Put it over here. Towards the blue side. And that was for. Alright. What do you got? Anything? Just a sieve, probably. Maybe like a nine? Yeah, around a nine. Okay. You just look at me. I have to stand still. If you move around too much, you might pop out of the frame. Okay. So first, you just just so we can uh, kind of type it out on the, the bottom of the screen. Can you say your first and last name? All right, it's Bradley Kitchens. And uh, it's Bradley spelled conventionally. B R A D L E Y. L E Y. Sweet. All right, so I'm keep fucking with my time. I'll look at it. All right, so what is like the m purpose of having Seaburn? So the main mission of CBRN is basically contamination avoidance for a unit or in the event of like a chemical attack, going downrange, finding contamination, dealing with contamination, and then decontaminating your units after you go out and do an operation in what we call a high area. So how relevant is the training that we're doing here compared to what you do like out in country? So this is actually pretty relevant. We're learning a bunch of new stuff that normally we don't go over in our SOPs or our TTPs, stuff like that. Um, we're finding out new ways to detect, better ways, more efficient ways. So everything that we've done so far, even as far as going out and finding non-standard uh, buildings or like precursors to an agent, it's pretty relevant. Stuff that we don't look at as far as training in-house. So do you think like the, the Dershko training that we're doing like this week, do you think it's relevant or can we do without it? Uh, I feel like it's needed for Seagrain. And uh, what else did I have down? Uh, relevance, super importance. So, how, like personally, how do you how do you like the training? Honestly, so far the training for me myself, it's been really good. It's a bunch of stuff that you know, like I said, we normally don't go over. It's actually really good. It's a really good refresher. So, and what do you think if you had anything to change about the course? What would you change about it? Mm. It's a pretty good course. Um, if I had to change one thing personally, I would just say maybe have like more people in the course so it's not just such a small group of people going because once you learn something new, it's hard for a small group of people to get it spread out. I know how we talked about like it was like day one when we uh, they talked about how the level B suit, how it's supposed to be wet, but back on Lejeune, you guys aren't allowed to do that. Are there any things like that uh, in general that they're teaching you guys that like wasn't in the SOPs before. Yeah, so uh, one thing, one key thing that I noticed is that normally whenever you do decontamination, as far as back on Lejeune, as far as 2nd Marine Division, whenever we're decontaminating radiation, we always use water. So that's something that we've been doing wrong as a unit. And now we've learned that you don't use water whenever you're decontamination, or whenever you're decontaminating radiation, just because it spreads it out. And also didn't know about the suits supposed to be wet, but that's something that we're gonna try and include to our TTPs, so that way we can mitigate those risks. Sweet. Do you have any final comments about the training or Seabrun in general? Uh, sweet.
sweets. Sweet. Ah, oh. oh, Stephen's just looking at me. Can I snip the camera? And uh, uh another one. Right, so first, can we have you say your first and last name? Rebecca Stewart. And you're a billet? I am the second squad leader for second Marine Division Seaburn. Sweet. So uh, first off, like, what is Seaburn all about, mission statement-wise? Uh, Seaburn's mission statement is pretty much to help and protect our Marines whenever we go downrange in what could be potentially be a Seaburn environment, to help them mitigate that risk so that they don't get hurt. And what is the, the DERSCO training that we're doing today? The DERSCO training, so DERSCO stands for Dismounted Reconnaissance Sets, Kits, and Outfits. And, what's that, and what that is is a new uh, system that we have so that we can go downrange with new ACM gear to better train and inform our commanders so they can make that decision. And with this new gear compared to the stuff that you guys are used to, like how better is it or different is it? The DERSCO equipment is a lot better than the uh, original ACM gear. It helps us to detect things faster. It's a lot lighter so we can carry more downrange if we need to and it uh, helps us to see if there are different kinds of contamination as compared to just a few things here and there. Uh, so with the training that we've been doing this week, uh, how realistic is it as far as like applying it to real world situations? The training that we're getting this week is helping us to apply it to real life because these guys who are training us have actually done it in real life and we haven't. We've just done training scenarios. So it's nice to get their insight and get their know-how on what actually happens on range, whereas we could train all day in scenarios, but it's nothing like the real thing. And then lastly, do you think that, uh, that this training is something that Marines can do without, or do you think it's important, which is like your personal opinion on it? I think Seaburn, or this training specifically that we're getting, I think every Seaburn Marine should come to the Guardian Center and get this training. Because like I said earlier, we train all day in scenarios that we make up, but it's different when it's real life. Sweet. Come on.